I was working with Tech Mahindra for about two and a half years now. And then uh, I was also pursuing a course with Jigsaw Academy Foundation course. And then I, I wanted to move into data analytics because I was initially working as a software test engineer in Tech Mahindra. And because of saturation in learning opportunities, I wanted to switch to another role. So that's what triggered for me. That's, that's, that's the time that you should go for a change and look for other opportunities outside of your organization. Jigsaw has helped me in a way that because I was working as also a data warehouse test engineer. So all I was doing is, uh, according to the business logic, get the data into the tables. And I did not know what happened to the data after that. So what Jigsaw does and teaches its students is precisely what happens to data after you have your data in the table structured data is there. So what happens to data after that? In my case in Tech Mahindra, what business used to do it was segregated to them themselves. It was not communicated with the test, uh, test analyst team and or the development team. So I wanted to know what more happens to the data. How do you how do you make the data talk? How do you effectively get the strategic decisions out of the yes no decisions or strategic business decisions out of your data? So that's where Jigsaw helped me in identifying that gap between what I know and what I should be knowing in in order to effectively communicate to the organization or to the business that that's what I can do for you and that's how I can make it more sustainable or more profitable. Going through the course uh, is challenging. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's full of challenges. It's not challenging, it's full, it's full of challenges and a uh, lot of business case studies are there to make you uh, aware of what's, what's, uh, uh, what's causing problems to the business across the different domains and industries of the organizations. And then once I completed the course and wanted to land myself in an interview or a couple of interviews, it was good in a way that uh, I did not get one or two calls, I get multiple calls and seven, eight calls that uh, I got for different organizations as for the role of data analyst or business analyst. And then it feels good at the end of the day when you've got uh, three, four offers converted for you and you are rejecting the companies, not, comp not the other way around because you do not like the roles and responsibilities or any other factor that you give your primary importance to. So you are the deciding factor. You know what's important for you, so where you should go. So that's, that's one thing that, that doesn't happen in a usual day-to-day -day scenario, that you switching on to a organi different organization and then you deciding where, where do you want to go. I had to stop the HRs from calling me up because I did not want to appear for an organization which I did not see much of market value for, even though it was offering a good compensation or it would have offered a good compensation, but it probably the roles and responsibilities did not suit me. And I had to take that call that I had to say no to them at a primary stage so that I do not waste their time or my time.